Hi, I'm Jane Cavazas. I'm going to show you how to build this really cool uh, Bluetooth speaker box using just like a inexpensive plastic ammo box and a Bluetooth speaker kit from Rockler. And uh, it's quick and easy to build, so let's get started. I'm going to take a really simple plastic utility box that I picked up at Northern Tool and Equipment. This is a cool little box. It's built a lot in the design of like an ammo box, but it's got a nice little handle on it and it's easy to open yet secures nice and watertight. Now we're also going to use Rockler wireless speaker kit. It's Bluetooth. Very simple construction, very simple design. It consists of the speaker and the control panel. So the first thing we're going to need to do is remove this decal. Oh yeah, that helps a lot. Makes a big difference in pulling that off. So I'm going to use a little um, lacquer thinner on this. And you want to use that sparingly because you don't want to burn the, the box. But I think it will hold up to, to a little bit of lacquer. Yep, that cleaned up just fine. Um, according to the instructions on the Bluetooth speaker, the holes on this both need to be an inch and a half. So depending on, there's several ways you could do this. You could use a inch and a half hole saw, and I have one of those, but I'm going to try it with to see if the material is thin enough that I could mark it and I could actually cut it with a good sharp exacto. Let's give that a try. One and three quarters, and then I'm going to want to set that somewhere about there. And I'm going to draw my circle. Okay, so I'm going to come this way. I'm going to do the same thing again. My circle again. That material is thin enough. I'm hoping that I could take a fairly new X-Acto knife and cut that. If I can't, we'll, we'll go another route, but let, let's give it a try. I scored this for a while, but now I think I'm going to come back with a box cutter. It's got a razor blade type blade, and it's a little stiffer, and I can put a little more pressure on this and see if I can cut through that way. And even if I use it just kind of almost to saw my way through, that'll probably get me through it. And then I can kind of clean it out. Okay, I think that's pretty close. check. I'm going to this time just use this piece just because I don't have all the wires to put behind it. Let's see if I'm getting any closer to that fit. No, I'm not. Did I read that wrong? I did read that wrong. That says one and seven eighths. So this is going to have to be a little wider. Now I'm glad I figured that out before I had cut out the other one as well. With this, let's take a look. Let me look how close I am now. Oh yeah, I could fit that. That'll that'll work. Okay. Now I just need to repeat the same thing on this end. This time I think I may try it and just do this and cut small bites all the way around. Oh, I wish I would have done this the first time, but I wanted to show you my mistakes so that you guys won't have to do it yourself. 
So now once I have the circles cut out in there, I'm going to take the Rockler Bluetooth control panel and just simply set it into the, uh, the hole, align it so that it looks straight, and then just push it down until it makes a crisp click. Just like that. Now I'll do the same with the speaker on the side of the box. And that's an easy one too, but you want to make sure you push your wires and the back of the speaker through the hole. And once again too, kind of look through that grill and align the speaker on the side so that it looks straight and is where you want it to be. Okay, so now this is looking pretty cool. You've got your speaker here, your control panel on the side of this. So now we open it up and you can see inside the basic configuration, which is great because all you got to do now is take your red wire and that clips straight back in like so. And then this clip That's as simple as that. Then this can lock down, and this makes a pretty cool box. show you how to cut this vinyl but that's another video I'm gonna take a squeegee squeegee down this and I'm gonna set the jean spills off the transfer tape this is coming right I think I can do that rip this down part so how cool is that huh you got the Jeep logo, and it's got the square headlights because that's my old Jeep that I have. So let's uh, let's try this little guy out. First, we're going to want to turn on the power, and then we'll take our phone and go to Bluetooth. Make sure it's on. I'm going to use Amazon Music here. You can even raise this up a little bit and use it as a phone holder, so that kind of works cool too. So this was a really fun and easy project to do. It really didn't take much. In fact, I'm amazed because the only tools you really needed on it was an X-Acto knife or, in this case, a box cutter. And I used a compass, but you could have traced around the base of the, of the speaker just as easily. Now, if you don't want to get into using a, a vinyl cutter, you can go to the craft store and you can buy packets of different color and fonts of individual lettering that you can stick on, or you can always apply a decal. So anyway, this was a great uh, video for me. I enjoyed it. If you like this video and you want to check out some of these others, please do. Maybe consider subscribing. and I'll see you soon.